Hello everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to place an image or a picture like this inside of a picture frame in about 60 seconds. So let me show you how I did it from scratch. Let's delete these two layers here and this is it. So the first step, we've got a poster frame. The next step is I'm going to go ahead and grab the pen tool on the left side here and I'm going to zoom in very, very tight and I'm going to get a, basically I'm going to put a point in each of the four corners of the frame. So here we go. We got this one, this one, this one and this one and then we basically want to connect it by when you see the little o there or the zero that means that this is now a path and it's connected okay so we've got that the next step is we want to go to our paths over here click on that and then there's this little button down here you're going to see it says load path as selection that's the one we want left click on that and then now go back to layers and you'll see here now that the marching ants so to speak are going around the edge of our little uh, frame cutout. Now you want to go ahead and hit Command J if you're on a Mac or com or Control J if you're on a PC. What's going to happen is this is going to create a new layer as a copy and the top copy now is just the inside of what we drew. This is where the magic happens. Now head over here to your Finder or your Windows Explorer. Grab the picture that you want to use. For this, for me, I'm going to use this one, a picture of my dog here at Kingston, and I'm going to drag and drop it on top. This doesn't look right yet, but not to worry. Now hold down the Alt key if you're on a PC or the Option key if you're on a Mac, and we're going to create a clipping mask. And you'll see here that when I do hover over the two lines here, it creates the clipping mask. Now click on that, and you're going to see here that the picture is now mounted inside the frame. If this doesn't look quite right to you, you can always click on this and now hit Command or Control T and you can always reduce the size. For example, I'm going to reduce the size like this and then I'm even going to rotate it a little bit so that I get kind of the look I want because the perspective's a little bit off. So maybe something like that.